Hi everyone, Fancy Chickadee here to show you how to crochet a rustic pumpkin. I purchased this pattern from Meg Made with Love, so check out our Etsy shop for all three pumpkin patterns. For this project, I used Lion Brand Super Chunky Yarn in Portsmouth Pumpkin, an 8mm hook, scissors, and a darning needle. The original pattern did call for two strands of worsted weight yarn, so that's a change. I've chosen to use Super Chunky instead. Let's get started. To begin, chain 20. This is a change from the original pattern. Since I'm using such chunky yarn, I needed to have less stitches so my pumpkin didn't end up too big. Now you're going to join your last chain to the first one with the slip stitch. So insert your hook, yarn over, and pull through both of those loops. Now chain two. One, two. Now we're going to do a double crochet in that first stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook into that first stitch, yarn over, pull through, you have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two of those loops, yarn over, and pull through two more. That's a double crochet. Let's do another one. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, Yarn over, pull through the loop, you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, two loops on your hook, yarn over, and pull through two. You're going to continue making double show crochets all the way around. We'll finish off row one by joining to the top of our chain two with a slip stitch. So on the top of that chain, insert your hook, yarn over and pull through that stitch. Might be a little tough. And pull through the loop. Great. Okay. To begin row two, we're going to chain two. So one and two. And now we are going to do a front post triple crochet. So we're going to insert our hook into the post of the first stitch, not the top like you're used to. So yarn over twice, back towards yourself, insert your hook into the front of that post, yarn over again, pull through, you're going to have four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through the next two loops, yarn over, and pull through the last two loops. That is a front, front post triple crochet. In each of the next three stitches do a double crochet and then another front post triple crochet. So repeat that pattern all the way around for nine rows. As you can see, that front post triple crochet gives us a really cool effect. That nice rib, it looks like an actual pumpkin. I went ahead and stitched the bottom of my pumpkin together. I'll show you how to do that in just a second. And I added some fill to my pumpkin, and I'm going to show you guys how I stitched my pumpkin together. So I took a piece of yarn, tied a knot into one of those top stitches and then I just inserted my darning needle oh about three or four stitches apart all the way around. You don't want your stitches to be too close together. Once you have that sewn all the way around just start giving that string a tug making sure that polyfill stays down in there and you've got your pumpkin. I did pull on mine, gave mine a tug so it stretched out just a little bit, made it a little taller. If you want yours taller than mine, you'll just give it more rows of stitches. Finish your adorable creation by hot gluing a stem and adding a crocheted leaf. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment. And if you're watching on YouTube, like this video and you can subscribe to my channel for future videos. See you next time.